keeping that matter of the Ash Guardian just between us? Okay, welcome to episode 14. Uh, I don't know <laughs> what just happened, but I got teleported super far away of where I was, and there's a dragon here. Okay, so uh, welcome to episode 14 of Skyrim VR. My name is Ambassador. Um, that was pretty funny. I don't. I think I was over there, and then I got teleported all the way over here. What was that? I just got out of there. I think. Huh. I probably can't teleport with that dragon there. Um. Where is it? Okay, I, I guess we're gonna kill this dragon since it just appeared here. If he ever stops. Did he go in the water? You drinking some water? Okay, he's attacking her. Oh, come on. Oh, I got this synced. Fledged. Alright, so, um... I, I did a lot of things in between episodes. Uh, do you remember how I found, um... Oh, who's at me now? Um, do you remember how I found that book on the previous episodes? Well, I found three more of those books. Or, or two more. I think three, actually. It might be three. Attack her, attack her. How many hours do I have? 30. Okay, that's fine. Um, so yeah, I found three more. Let's say two for now. I'm sorry, I can't, I'm having trouble concentrating with this this guy attacking. Uh, Why is he going over there? It's fine. Fudge, really? You're gonna attack me now? So, what I got from one of the books, another gift I got, was to not hurt my companions while whoa, while I'm in combat. Which I was like, yeah, I definitely want that because I don't want to want to I don't want to hurt any of my companions while I'm in combat because that's how I kill them, <laughs> and then I have to reload. Uh, unfortunately, I got that after I killed Spidey, so Spidey's no longer with us. Uh, unfortunately, I went back to the place and uh, I couldn't respawn a Spidey, so I had to take the other guy, which is fine. He, he's cool, right? He, he's kind of cute, like uh, like Spidey was, right? Look at him, right? <laughs> I don't even. Uh, he's our uh, ambassador sphere. Oh come on, are you not gonna give me your soul? There we go. Okay, he is gonna give us his soul. Uh, speaking of souls, what's Ruby? I got another soul which gives me like this uh, power up. Um, let me see, dragon axe as aspect. Kind of gives me like a power up, my boosting attacks, my shouts are more powerful. Uh, which is a good thing that I got uh, that other black book that allows me to not hurt my companions. Uh, my, my shouts also are not they're not affected by my shouts also so that is good uh, the other the other thing I got was oh what was it oh come on I think I okay I, I can just show you instead of me trying to remember the powers Mara's Agony uh, summons a field of writhing tentacles that last 30 seconds and poisons foes who enter it uh, but there was something else Active effects. Uh, what was it? Oh, here's the companions in cell. So my attack, shouts, and destruction spell do not do no damage to my followers when in combat. If I'm not in combat, it, it does hurt them. Uh, I tested that out. <laughs> uh, there was an there was another. Lover stone. Yes, lover stone. All skills improve 15% faster. No. Was it that? Hmm. I feel like it, it is this one. All skills improve 15% faster. I think I went for that. Uh, but yeah. 
uh, what else? Uh, I found out that uh, the this is actually a quest to get this armor, but you have to be level 36 to to trigger it. Uh, there are two ways to trigger it. One's, one is by reading a book, and the other one, it, it's the way we did it. Like, if you remember, we beat, like, a pirates, and then the pirate captain was supposed to have, like, a map with the locations of the other pieces. But since we weren't level 36 when we did that, then the, the quest didn't trigger, and we're still not level 36, I don't think. What level are we? Uh, where do I... Oh, level 34. Yeah, so I don't. I I'm hoping it'll still trigger later on. Uh, once I reach level 36, maybe I'll remember and go try to read something. Who's this guy? Need something. Oh, it's this guy that has this other thingy here for transport, but he doesn't really move. Okay, I'm trying to remember what else I've done. <laughs> I think that was pretty much it. Other than that, was just me going around looking for stuff. Uh, I I I found almost everything. I think, I, if not everything. Except for this, I haven't gone there. Uh, which, that's where the main mission is. Actually, let's teleport real quick to fund this ex excavation. We have so much money, so. Uh, the main ways that I got the books, the other books, was by glitching through doors. So I took advantage of that. Uh, and then it was just, the rooms were pretty similar to the ones I did. Uh, it wasn't that interesting to show, so I just did it on my own. It was basically the same kind of stuff with different uh, puzzles. There was one where it was all dark, and if you stayed in the dark for too long, then you would get hurt. Well, you we constantly get hurt when you were in the on the in the darkness. Um, we're gonna fund this guy's wow. this uh, Look who it is. thingy. I got some money. Are you looking for a partner? What are you? <laughs> are you serious? Yeah, are well, you serious? I I am sorry. Else. We can sort out the details about the arrangement later. Right. But for now, I'll manage the dig if you can manage the coin. Do you have the gold? Of course, I got mm. gold, girl. Do you know me? I'm it's the richest guy. Here. Well then, looks like I have a good bit of work to start on. I'll head back to Raven Rock and round up some diggers. Once we've got something worth looking at, I'll send word to you. All right. doing business with you. You too. You better freaking find something. Alright, there was something else we could do. What is this? Speak to... Okay, uh, so like the... Wait, where's this? Okay, it is in, it is in Raven Rock. So uh, the captain of the guards, I guess, uh, told us that this guy wanted to talk to us, so... He also gave us uh, gave gave me a mission to investigate the the ash people that that uh, show up. I don't know if I have shown those in, in an episode, <laughs> but uh, I, I, I as I was exploring around, I uh, actually run into whoop. I ran into the guy that was summoning them and killed him. And after I killed them, it's like oh mission complete. Go talk to that guy. I was like oh well, I guess that was that. <laughs> Seems you've inherited a situation. Uh huh? What kind of situation? Robus Relby owes me 1,000 septums. At least he did until you set him up with that Telbani wizard. Now he's untouchable. The way I figure it, it's your fault he can't pay me. So I guess I'm going to have to collect it from you. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, take the money. If I don't pay, or I could just kill you now. How about you take half? Or I could just kill take you now. Your best shot, Fetcher. But if you draw on me, the guards will put a bounty on your head, not mine. Well then. Well, I'm not paying you. <laughs> Bye. Wait, so where am I going? So basically, I'm, I'm guessing like the... Um, one of the guys where I was when I started the episode. I didn't show much of that because uh, I wasn't planning on starting it where I where I did, <laughs> but since that funny glitch happened, so basically this the guy here wanted to have wanted a new steward, so I went and got one, and apparently that steward that I got for him had a debt, so <laughs> that's the problem. But I'm not paying that guy. Kill him later. Thank you for coming. 
Uh, oh, oh, sorry. You've already done for Raven Rock. I hate to ask for more. Yeah, but wait. I can't wait, I gotta, I gotta, more, I gotta explain what's happening. Shh, shh, shh. Be right with you, uh, Adrilarana. So, uh, I had to figure out those ashes, guys, and I went to the guy that was sending them. I killed him, not knowing that was the actual guy that was sending them, because I was just exploring, so I completed that quest. And also, I glitched to get to him, so maybe that's why I was able to complete it. But yeah, so that was the whole thing. I think it was the, like a whole thing that you would investigate and eventually it'll lead you to where he was. But since I was just exploring everything, I ran into that. And, uh, and now, uh, after completing that, eventually the captain came back and told me this guy wanted to talk to him. So now that you're all caught up, let's talk to this guy. He's in danger of being killed. How? Wait, who? The Ulan family of House Lalu, a rival great house, has placed a death mark on the councillor's head. Uh, why would the Ulins want him dead? It's a private matter. Let's just say they seek revenge for the execution of one of their own, ordered by Councillor Morvane himself. The problem is I don't have any solid proof that anyone from House Lalu is hidden among us. Only my suspicions. I see. Uh, you're the execution. It's on his head, not yours. Your concern seems justified. I, I, have, I honestly have no clue what is happening, so I'm just gonna go with. This. Maybe justified, but it certainly isn't appreciated. Councillor Morvain simply feels that I'm being paranoid. I'm afraid that one day I'll awaken and discover him dead, and I don't want it to come to that. You feel an attack on the councillor is imminent? I do. I've received some information from my sources that there could be elements of Ulan's house, House Lalu, already in Ravenrock. <laughs> I mean, what haven't you? Why haven't you acted on this information? Ravenrock is a small settlement, so it's hard to accomplish anything in secret. Mm. If any of them is from House Lalu, I wouldn't be able to make a move without them knowing. Um. Well, good luck with that. I'm just kidding. How can I help? I had a feeling you'd be willing to listen to me. As long as there's gold involved. I need you to start out by being my eyes and ears. Search Raven Rock and see if you can root out these traitors. The best place to start would be Geldis Sadri, over at the Retching Netch Corner Club. If he provides you any leads, check them out before bringing them to my attention. I can't afford to make any mistakes. Don't worry. You can trust Geldus. He's been with us for a long time. Yeah, I'm not worried. I'll just kill anyone who wants me. Wants trouble. <laughs> Wait, where are we going? Let's check the map. Uh, speak to Kelly. Okay, that's here. Oh, right here. Another mouth. Another mouth to feed? Was that what you're gonna say, guard? Well, excuse you. I feed myself. I don't need you. <laughs> I'm a grown, independent woman. Whoa. I work for Mogro. You got a problem, you talk to him. Alright. Wait, who? Oh, the bartender? Alright. Welcome to. Come on, it's open. Adril Arana said you might drink. be able to help me. Well, well. Adril's got himself a spy, does he? Mm, I'm I sure guess. he knows he needs all the help he can get. He's been chasing the Ulins for years now. Has he? You think he's mistaken? No. I just think he's going about this the wrong way. Yeah? Uh, you have a better idea? Actually, some beer here? If you want to catch those slippery slaughter fish, you need to let them come to you. Right. How do I get them to do There's that? There's an Ulan ancestral tomb near the temple. Someone's been leaving ash yam offerings on the altar inside. If you were to wait inside for whomever that is, I'm betting they'll have some of the answers you're looking for. Why haven't you told Adriel about this? What makes you think I have it? Any time Adriel and the Redoran Guard made a move, the Ulans must have been one step ahead and didn't mm. show up. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the tip. You can thank me if it works. Until then, I'd head to the tomb and wait until your visitor shows up. Uh, wait, what? Why did Dummer leave finish? I don't care about that. Come back any time. My doors are always open. All right, now let's go to the freaking tomb.
Oh, another thing I did, well, not did, but saw, is I saw were bears, and they actually look pretty cool. So, if I get the chance to become a werebear, I'll become a werebear, because <laughs> that was cool. They were kind of scary, to be honest. Uh... Wait, okay, let's check the thing. Wait inside Olin Ancestral Tomb. Gildy Sadri has pointed out that someone is living ash jam offerings in the Ulin and Central Tomb, even though no Ulins live on Solstheim. So he suggests that I stake the tomb out at night. Okay, what time is it? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, wait for 12 hours. It's my nap time. Although I'm just waiting, actually, just standing there waiting with my eyes wide open. Discover the identity of the tomb visitor. Oh, they just got in? Aha! Ah, I knew it was you. Excuse me. I didn't realize there was anyone else here. What are you doing I here? I presume the same thing you're doing, leaving an offering for the departed. Forgive my surprise. It's just that I wouldn't expect that sort of behavior from someone who isn't done that. Since there aren't any Ulans left on this island, I've taken it upon myself to leave the traditional offering in their stead. I'll let you get to it then. Tell me why you're really here. I'll let you get to it then. I trust oh, you. No bother. We all have a right to be here. Now if you'll excuse me, I'd like to meditate a bit. I don't trust you, lady. But my mission was just to stake you out. Right? I well, didn't have to kill her, right? That too. Okay, I gotta go back here. There's nothing. There is nothing? What do you mean by that, guard? Hmm. Oh. I hope Geld has proved useful. Have you made any progress? I suspect Tilisu Severin is the culprit. Elisu. Are you sure? I saw her in the old so tomb. So plan worked, eh? Every time we tried it, no one would ever show up. If Telisu's involved in any sort of plot to harm Councillor Morvain, I'm going to need hard evidence to prove it. Okay. So, go search their house. I'm not kicking down anyone's door until I have solid evidence in hand. If you're wrong about Telisu, Things would quickly go downhill around here, and the real culprits might slip away. I can't afford for that to happen. What if they try to stop me? If you have evidence that it places your life in peril, I would expect you to do whatever you must to keep yourself alive. Who's smelling me? Are you sm Yeah, this key should open the front door of the manor in case they've locked it. Good luck. Well, if they lock Be it, I can lock the Were you smelling me? Huh? You think that's funny? To smell a girl like that? It's busier now that things are starting to look up. I guess I might stay a bit longer after all. Whatever. Bye. Maybe it wasn't you. Maybe I'm just paranoid. Maybe I smelled myself. Okay, uh... Where are we going? With the Aspawn threat taken care of, I can get my it does require a key. Will they see me now? I should have I should have uh, quick save before I went in. <laughs> oh well. Uh oh. Whoa! Why are you attacking me? Fail your blood, better. Lisa Zeverin. She just attacked us immediately. Oh. oh fudge, I got them. Whatever that was. Luck pink, ruby, safe key, I'll take it. An arrow, yep. I got a glass weapon that I don't want. Yeah, 
glass daggers, so store one of them. Oh, also... Okay, just let me get what he... she has. I have an arrow. So, um, I figure out that the daggers still do more damage. Because that's still a one-handed weapon, so it does multiply. So it, uh, it becomes like times 30 attack. When I... Uh... When I uh, sneak into an enemy and backstab them. It's like times 30 damage, so it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Ooh. Healing and nope. Whoop. Minor healing. There we are. Okay, so we're looking for a safe. I guess I can get the gold. No, nope. they want to slip anyways. Gotta get all the all the gold. No, that's glass. Freaking glass. Did I check this one away? I don't think so. Whoop. Oh, there's some potions there I actually need because I've been using them so much. Yep. Nope. Yep. Yep. Maybe it's upstairs. I don't know, there's nothing here. There's a safe, though. It's... It, that's why I got a key. What does the mission say? Yeah, recover evidence from Severin Manor. If I was a safe, where would I be? It's gotta be in this room. Behind this? No. Oh! No, it's just a basket. Oh, there it is! Dang. In a matter of days, I believe we'll be ready. Our forces hidden within Nash Fallow Citadel have been training night and day. Okay. Uh, yep. Ebony shield. Yes. Right. Good. Let's get out of here. Oh, I should have taken those arrows. Whatever. I have plenty, I think. Uh oh, are you coming to me? Are you coming towards me? Yeah, you are. Uh-oh. Oh, no, you're not. You're just walking that way. No, 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 you are coming towards me. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. He's coming towards me. Whatever. He's just gonna go. You got a good thing going here now that you've reopened the mines. Did you find any evidence? Waste. Yep. Then we finally have them. Mm -hmm. All that remains now is chasing them down and bringing them to justice. Ah, uh, they're dead. I don't think they'll give up with it. Will good. Oh, you mean those I'm guys? I'm going to send two of the best Rerun guard we have to take them down. Me? I want you to assist them any way you can. Uh, of course. Uh, I'll head there immediately. See that you do. We can't afford to let these traitors slip away. Of course. Ashfallow Citadel's been abandoned for a long time. Oh, please don't talk to me, guard. Okay, so where are we going? Not there. Oh, over there. Looks like they're meeting in the... No, I, I do need to place a freaking custom destination. Yeah, 
Let's go to Asheville. I think that's where I um, where I met the guy that was behind the Ash Monsters. <gasps> Look at this guy. This is I think that that's the armor that I want. That's the helmet, right? That I have. I think it is. All right. <sighs> so um. All right, there we go. <laughs> Get the body. Whoop. What is this armor? Oh, I'll keep going inside. Oh, I have to go. Okay, no. I will kill this guy. Ah, fudge. Steel arrows? I'll take them. And my iron arrow. Whoa. This is 46? Sorry, I keep moving the mic. Just keep keep adjusting it. I'm just gonna assume we're going this way. <laughs> that was a one shot. I was able to fast travel here, so. What? I don't get it. It was the same person. Why did that one once shot her, and then this one needed more? Because she spotted me before I shot the arrow. the soul gems oh that's another thing I, I I learned how to recharge my weapons uh, in the in the weapon screen there's actually if you press square it says recharge the weapon if you're on the on a weapon that can be recharged so yeah you know and now I know it and now we can restart recharge weapons and I have a weapon that takes souls, so that's why I'm getting these things, because now I actually use them. <laughs> oh. Oh, you didn't see me. I'm a sneaky super good. Is there someone else? What? You didn't know? Dwarven arrow, horses arrow, steel arrow, gold, <laughs> all the freaking arrows. Gold and Nope. Oh, I. Oh, what the fudge? No, I don't want this. What do? What do I have equipped? Oh, I got back the soul render and the other one. Yeah, no, no, no. This, I don't want that. I'm still carrying too much. No, not anymore. What is this? Is that something from here? Oh, the Nordic barrier. I guess I can use that for now. And I glass dagger. Oh, it looks like it looks like it's out of power also. So, it gives me a chance. Yeah, it's out of charge, so it gives me a, char a chance to show you guys. Yep, used to, used to that. And the enchanting goes up. Ah, oh, so close. There's a trap there. 
gonna quick save before I freaking die. Especially now that I'm gonna be using daggers. Can I get that dummy's uh, weapons? <laughs> gonna take your soul, dummy. Let's go through this wall. That doesn't affect us. Shortcut. Oh, these guys are gonna freaking trigger the trap. There's three of them. Very carefully. Very carefully. Go, 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 go. So freaking dumb. They're gonna keep stepping on them. So yeah, I discovered something else about the glitch. Like, I can, like, I, I can, I can move the, the, the move thing further. So it kind of. Okay, I got it. Okay, so if you move, if I move it further, it, it actually goes, as you can see there. See, 30 times damage there. And I leveled up apparently. That was not how I wanted it, but <laughs> it worked out. Uh, I'll go with health. Someone there. Yeah, I see me. Oh, I knew it. Oh, they saw her. Saved. Good thing I accidentally quick saved. <laughs> oh man. I'm bumping into the mic again. God dang it. Alright, let's just get the um, freaking bow. Let's be real here. It takes so much freaking damage from me. Yeah. Dang it. Hmm. Oh, fudge. I have fast healing. I got that. Also, I think that's new for you guys. Just basically just heals me faster. As the name says. Supposedly, Royal Guard that were gonna help me. Diamond, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, no. Vendil Olenshevsky. I don't know where that is, but I'll 
take it. Uh, yeah. Increases heavy armor skill by now. Is there a way to open this door? Wait, is there? No. Then how do I get in here? Normally, the right way. Skeleton. Do you have gold? Of course you do. You're a skeleton. You always have gold. You? Open chest. You're free. You're free. You have to have some gold, right? Yeah. Look at the rapido. Okay. Uh, I feel like there's a chest around here somewhere that I could open. This is adapted should be easy enough. There we go. Yep. Ooh. I guess I'll take that. Increases your stamina. I don't care about that. I have something like this already. Dagger. Sanctify steel dagger. They're not as strong as my daggers. Okay, so this must mean that there's a chest around here. Oh, fudge. Wait, that's, that's a. No, it's not a dead end. What are you doing? Did that open the door? Let's just leave. There's a chest here. No. Alright. Hawala fa kara ba rake kalu puja kan faruki ja gura gura gura. Rickling got speak song. Gura 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 hawala fa kara. I think it's something, it goes something like that. Okay, how are we doing with time? Okay. It's almost about that time, but let's, um... Let's go talk to this. Let's finish this quest up before we leave. I'm assuming it's Raven Rock, so let's go there. Oh no, I just realized that I didn't do the... VR thingy on the game capture, so this one is gonna have like the black bars. Sorry, <laughs> dang it. I was so eager to start that I forgot. And here I thought I was not, that wasn't gonna happen again anytime soon, but it was sooner than I thought. At a day. What's up? It all happened. So there were no guards there, so you lied to me. What happened? Were you able to track down Vendor? Out with it! He's no longer Again. a friend. It's finally over. Well, I guess. What of the Redoran guard? I sent to assist you. Slain by the Morak Tongue. Damn oh, it. that's why. I was hoping to protect our people by sending them, not end up with casualties. To well. think that Vendor would stoop so low as to hire those fetchers. I'm glad you killed him. I did what I had to, what had to be done. Simply wonderful. Councillor Morvain will be quite pleased when he hears about this. Return to Adrilla Rano, follow Adrilla Rano. Follow me, and I'll take you to the councillor so you can speak to him yourself. Well, they luckily he was here. Excuse me, Councillor Morvain. I have some wonderful news. Yep. Adriel, I haven't seen a smile on your face like that in a long time. Let me see that this smile. visitor has single-handedly dealt with a threat that could have ended your life. I don't see a smile. Vendel, Telesu, and Mary Severin weren't who they appear to be. I'm afraid they were here to avenge Villa Ulan's death. Vendel? 
but he's done so much for Raven Rock. How could this be possible? They did it to gain our confidence, Counselor. They had us all fooled. Not me, though. Should have been more oh, yeah, they fooled me. I'm sorry. Don't say that. It's not your fault, old friend. And you, yep. step forward. What I you've done for me, for all of Raven Rock, goes far beyond what I would have expected from a traveler to our town. Make me a thing. For this, you have my deepest gratitude. Maybe a thing. Thank you, Counselor. Now, I'm certain Adriel was prepared to reward you appropriately for everything you've done. Of course. However, mm. since a bit of coin hardly seems like enough, I've decided to provide something more substantial. Okay. Oh? Since the Severin family, or whoever they were, turned out to be criminals, yeah. their property is now forfeit. Oh, is it mine? As Counselor, I hereby award you Severin Manor and everything contained within. You've oh. earned your citizenship here, and I hope you'll consider staying with us as a member of our community. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, 2,500? All right. That's awesome. We'll get a house here. Hey, who are you? You've brought Raven Rock back. Oh, I think it's just the wife. Yeah? All right. Well, that's going to do for this episode then. Uh, on the next one. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've said this in how many episodes, but on the next one, we might actually go to... Wait, what? I'm not gonna pay more cool. Um, on the next one, we'll finally go to the temple. Whoop. And hopefully we'll get a message from Rollis. But uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video if you like it. And subscribe for more. Thanks again. If you're looking for...